<laughs> hey, what's going on everybody? So this is gonna be the second half of those contacts. These are all of the really little contacts we have. Uh, I didn't want to run these in the 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 poor man's aqua regia just because they're very small. There's a very minimal amount of base metals in here, and if we if we get all of the base metals out, that will start to attack the silver and turn it into silver chloride right away. So I want to avoid that, and we're going to go with a, a little less aggressive method to remove the base metals and that's going to be our uh, citric acid salt and hydrogen peroxide all right so let's start let's add a little bit of distilled water then we're going to add some citric acid to this and i'm going to do two tablespoons get that out of the way I'm gonna do one tablespoon of salt and I'm gonna be running 12% hydrogen peroxide so this is just gonna require a little bit of a splash nothing crazy and we'll slowly start adding to that if we need to um, if you add too much hydrogen peroxide to this method it will boil over relatively easy so you just want to be careful it also generates quite a bit of heat if if you add too much hydrogen peroxide all right well let's let that do its thing so this this method works pretty good. You do have to stay on top of the hydrogen peroxide, but as you can see here, it's pretty instantaneous. All right, our solution is uh, definitely picking up some copper. Um, I did add a little bit more hydrogen peroxide before I went to bed last night, and uh, we are still dissolving. There we go, nice shot. And uh, it looks like there's a couple of them that are nice and clean. But we do still have some more base metals in there that need to be uh, need to be attacked as it's doing. So we'll just keep letting it do its thing. Um, I haven't added any heat to this solution yet. So let's see here. I'll grab a quick temperature, it's just room temperature. 63 not bad all right well let's uh check back on it a little later when i uh finish up with my potassium nitrate which is cooking there in the back we'll put a little heat on this see if that speeds it up a little bit i imagine it will we'll go from there we should be ready to do in court here rather quickly all right, guys, here's that citric acid method. We're cranking out on this. I haven't had any heat on it all weekend yet. Um, I just finished up my potassium, uh, potassium nitrate with hydrochloric, our poor man's aqua regia, and I've cleared up all of those guys. So those look really nice. No more base metals. Sweet. We'll move this over to the heat when we're done, but this thing has just been chugging along all weekend real nice <laughs> all right so where this method uh, can be kind of a pain in the butt is if you let that solution cool with your contacts still in it um, I found out like if you leave that cool overnight especially after you heat it if you keep it at room temperature it does fine but if you heat it up uh, you get so many crystals that crash out of solution it's it's very hard to get your contacts out without putting like more acids in so while it's still warm, uh, it, it's not boiling. I've had like half temperature. We're just gonna go ahead and pour this right off here. You can see how dark that solution got. All 
Alright, let's spray some water in here quick. And take a closer look at our contacts. Alright, so looking at this here, we can still see we have some copper that needs to be taken out. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that back in here and we'll put it back on the, uh, the heat plate for a little while. Alright, and back in it goes. see here actually I might put a little bit more hydrochloric or not hydrochloric um, hydrogen peroxide in oh there it goes <laughs> I definitely thought that was gonna be a disaster Wow <laughs> I am so glad that was recording. All right, we're sitting at 5.4 grams. Let's see here. Let me get this off the scale. So we can see that some of them have quite a bit of base metal left. Uh, oh, wow. Those ones are all copper. See, I thought those ones were silver plated. Intr or, uh, I thought these were entirely built made of silver. Interesting. Well, anyways. So there's a couple of them in here that uh, that you can see are pretty much bald. We've got all the base metals off of them. So that method does work really well. It is time consuming. What is going on, everybody? So, oh, knocking the mic over. That. There we go. <sighs> I missed the clip. I don't know what happened. Must have forgot to hit the record button, but it was uh, nothing crazy. It was basically me just realizing that that solution after the foam, whew, right? That that solution was pretty heavily saturated and it did not want to take any more copper. And uh, yeah, so that's why you see some copper left over. Um, I also realized that with the amount of weight I had from the big contacts, I'm like, well, I'm going to have to add some more base metals anyways to this uh to, to properly encord it. So I, that, that's why I stopped it a little short. But I'm really excited for this weekend. Hold on, back to the gold. Um, encording, the encording gold, really good. It's uh, it's looking really nice. I've got all the nitric boils done and uh, I'm about to go into aqua, or aqua Regia. So that should be, um, I should be able to drop it tonight. And then tomorrow I will, depending on... <laughs> I got a concert tomorrow. So I'm going to Santa Sonia and Blackstone Cherry. I'm actually really excited. It's been a long time since, uh, you know, little little baby Iris was in there. We haven't, uh, yeah, we haven't gone to that. So I'm really excited about that. But depending on how I feel afterwards, I might get that evaporated. Otherwise, I am going to put this video out this week. It'll be, it's going to be a Saturday video though. So we will have that. And uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited about that. And the gold is looking fantastic, too. It's um, It should be a pretty good pretty good drop. I'm really excited. It's going to be time to bring out the light board. <laughs> uh, there's only, I only bring out the light board on special, special occasions. That I think this one will be deserving of the light board. So I hope you guys have a good weekend. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.